In the early winter of 1853, the silence of the Mallee Scrub was broken by the sound of three horsemen and 250 cattle tracking 50 miles north from Yannick in search of new country. Cow being the local Aboriginal name for kopai or gypsum. For five years he took cattle to Cow Plains during the winter months and was eventually granted a lease on July the 3rd, 1859. Cow Plains Station Complex gradually became a self-sufficient area. Wells were sunk to supply water for stock and garden. The original homestead built at this time. In 1867, Dougal McPherson acquired the lease of Cow Plains and that of nearby stations. Dougal McPherson built the homestead as it stands today, a gracious building, 75 miles from the nearest town, Nil, and 35 miles from Pine Plain Station, a lonely, quiet spot where the silence of the night was broken only by the howl of dingoes and the sombre call of the booble gal. The homestead was constructed by skilled tradesmen from away and built from local pine with plastered walls, cement floors and hessian ceilings covered with wallpaper. In 1910, the homestead was the only place to stay between Pinaru and Oyun. Prospective settlers and visiting naturalists stayed a night at the homestead. The homestead was occupied until 1962 when the 50 acres on which the complex stood was purchased for use as a quarry. For the next 20 years, limestone was blasted from the ground. Stone showered down onto the roof of the homestead, making sometimes cricket ball sized holes. Some of these stones were still wedged in the iron roof when renovation started in 2001. In November 1970, my husband-to-be took me to visit this interesting old drop log building from station property days. I realised this was the last tangible link with pastoral days and that the building was unique as it was built of local materials. I wondered why something wasn't being done to preserve it and for the next 16 years I drove past it regularly and watched as it slowly deteriorated. In 1986, with the support of family and friends, I wrote to Heritage Building Council concerning preservation of the homestead. This was the beginning of the long road to restoration. Through the bureaucracy, phone calls, letters and conversations, tears of frustration, little wins and big losses, eventually the turning point came in July 1998 when Mildura Rural City Council agreed to purchase cow plains. A committee of management was formed and the clean-up began. With still more paperwork and phone calls to come, in 2000 a historian from Heritage Victoria and an interested heritage architect visited assessing that it was in far better condition than they had expected. The newly formed committee sat with the men in the lounge room and the rare rain dripped through the holes in the roof. With a grant from the Public Heritage Program in 2000, the restoration commenced in 2001, with many working bees taking place, where up to 27 locals from a 20k radius attended. Stage one of the restoration was celebrated five months later with the exterior and interior, except for the ceilings of the homestead, now restored to its former glory. The interior had once been lined with hessian and wallpapered ceilings and during 2002, the committee decided to proceed with having these reinstalled in the bedroom and entrance. The best piece of the hessian and wallpaper was sent to a historian for analysis. It was dated to production in the 1860s and possibly left over from the paper used in Dougal McPherson's stately primary residence 
in Bungletap was another battle to obtain funding and secure permits from Heritage Victoria. Grants and paperwork was eventually received in 2010. The paper was painstakingly reproduced and eventually installed over a three month period from 2010 to 2011. Cow Plains is of historical significance due to its important position in the history of the settlement in the extreme and remote conditions and of architectural significance. It is a rare surviving specimen of a 19th century construction style, specifically adapted to local conditions and materials. The many visitors to the homestead now marvel at the restoration and are in awe of those early pioneers who settled in this isolated area. The UNESCO award plaque at the back door illustrates to all the world the global significance of cow plains. In the living room, the photo of Dougal McPherson dressed in his kilt looks down with pride at the homestead he built.